Okay, code editor is open. We have a really cool short little project to go through that's gonna be about getting the keywords out of a piece of text. So we're gonna be using this rake-nltk um, package here for Python. I'll link to this below. And as you can see, it's short for rapid automatic keyword extraction algorithm. And it will basically analyze the frequency of a word appearance and its co-occurrence. So we best basically get a keyword or, or a key phrase and a score coming out of the text that we give it. So what's a good piece of text to give it? Well, how about a review of some product or something that maybe we are interested in? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm using Rake and LTK, which I just showed you, and request HTML to pull the text out. Um, if this is the first time you've run this library, you might need to run these two commands here, put them into your terminal uh, down here in PyCharm or in the same in VS Code to download the extra things that it needs. So we're going to do from request HTML, we are going to import the HTML session so we can use that to grab the data. And then we'll do from rake and LTK, we're going to import rake. Okay, so we need a function that's actually going to extract that text so we can then pass it off to this uh, rake algorithm. So I'm going to have a new function, we're going to call it extract uh, text. And we're going to say in here, S is going to be equal to our HTML session object, which we're going to use to request the data. And we'll have our URL is equal to, which I just need to go to my other screen and grab. There we go. And we'll put it in there. And now we can do our response is equal to S for our session dot get and give it the URL. From here, we want to return out response that we got back from the server dot HTML dot find and we need to grab the actual part of the web page that has the review text. Otherwise, we'll be analyzing every piece of word on this, every word on this page, and it will be no good. Now, I've done this already, and I found this div ID of article body that has pretty much everything in it that we need. So it's a div, the ID is uh, article dash body. So that means we use our CSS selectors and we do div hashtag because it's an ID article dash body. And I'm going to do first is equal to true because otherwise we'll get a list and then dot text. So if I copy this now and we'll just print out what we get back, we should get the text of the actual article. And there we go. You can see that we've got all of this information here and that's exactly what we wanted. So now we can go ahead and actually do the uh, rake algorithm part here. So we're going to do R is equal to rake and then we want to do R and I think it is get uh, extract. Ah, there we go, extract keywords from text. And we're gonna give it our function because this function, when it runs, returns the text that we just saw. So we'll do that. And now we can print out our r dot uh, get ranked phrases with scores. This is what's gonna return us our list of tuples. So it's gonna have a score and then the keyword that it's pulled out afterwards. The first one on this one's pretty good, pretty good, because that is obviously quite a good key phrase and a good score here. So the score, uh, as we said over here, is based on the frequency of word appearance and its co-occurrence with other words in the text. So when you do this part here, the stop words, that sort of removes all of the extra words that don't make any sense in between the actual key phrases that we're looking at. So let's chop this down a little bit because we got loads of them there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for our rating and then the keyword in our get ranked phrases with scores keyword. We're going to say if rating is greater than let's say five, we'll print out our uh, rating and then the keyword. So we chop all of those ones off the bottom. And here we go, here's like a quite a nice concise list of the key phrases that we may wanna be looking at if we're actually analyzing this review to compare it to another review of the same thing or maybe another review of a different product altogether. But you can see that we've got quite a few things here, a nice solid bottom end, always useful, incredibly low self, not sure what that means, but you get the idea, you would have to do 
go through this a bit more but I find these sorts of projects are really useful and really good for beginners because we get to exercise our skills writing Python code with different packages different things that might be more interesting and things that you can expand on really easily so if you've enjoyed this video I think you're going to like this one here where we talk about extracting more information from websites